Hello, Web Studio creators. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Vimeo component to set up a background video on your Web Studio website. To do so, we're going to jump into the builder and start by adding a hero section. So I'm going to select the box component, head over to the settings. And let's call this one hero section. With my hero section created, I'm going to select it and add my new Vimeo. This creates a Vimeo instance on our page within our hero section. With my instance created, I'm then going to jump into the Vimeo properties and I'm going to first define the URL of my Vimeo video. So head over to Vimeo and simply copy the URL of the video. Jumping back to Web Studio, I'm then going to paste the Vimeo URL. Next, I can set the quality of the video. Now, if you leave this on auto, it will automatically adapt to the viewer's bandwidth speed but you can also define a set quality if you need it for this specific video. For our use case, we're going to leave it on auto. We're going to enable background mode, which will allow the video to loop automatically and hide the player controls. I'm going to disable portrait, disable the controls as well, and head over to my Vimeo instance in the navigator to set my preview image and hide the spinner as well as the play button. Select the preview image, simply choose preview image from the navigator and under source, you can choose an image of your choice. I'm then going to select the spinner and hide it by toggling the show field. And I'm going to do the same thing with the play button. I'm doing both of these because the video is a background video and I don't want the user to be able to see that play button or to be able to play and pause the video. Next, I want to create the content that will live above my video. To do that, I select my hero section, and then I'm going to add a new box inside of the section. Let's call this box content. Now with my content box selected, you can see that it appears below the video. And as a background video, we want it to be above that video. So to move it above, what I first need to do is head over to my hero section. And in the style tab, I'm going to change its position to relative. What this will do is allow me to position content inside of it relative to the size of the hero section. So I'm now going to select my content box and I'm going to change its position to absolute. I'm also going to set the top, bottom, left and right to zero. What this will do is position my content box to completely fill the space relative to my hero section. With the content box positioned, I can now begin adding my content. So I'm going to first add a heading, and I'm also going to add some paragraph text. You can see it's a little bit hard to read and there's not a lot of contrast on my heading and my text. So I'm going to update both of these colors by going back to my content box and changing the typography to white. I also wanna style and reposition this content a little bit to make it look and feel much nicer. So I'm going to start off by changing the layout of my content box. You can see it's still quite hard to read because there's not enough contrast between my content and the background video. So what you can do if you need to add additional contrast is you can create an overlay layer. To create an overlay layer, simply head over to your hero section and add a new box. We're gonna call this one overlay. We're then going to apply the same absolute positioning to the overlay box as we did with our content box, switching out the top, right, bottom and left to be zero. And I'm going to move my overlay box above my content box. Lastly, I'm going to change the background color of my overlay box. So you can see here, I'm going to simply set it to black, but change the opacity to something along the lines of 50 to 60. Let's set it at 60 here, that looks good, it's easy to read. And finally, I'm going to switch out my content here. Let's replace my title with something a little bit more fun. Let's say adventure awaits. And for the description or the paragraph, I had pre-written some text that I'm simply going to paste in here. Now let's preview this. How does this actually look on our website? You can either click Command or Control P to preview, or you can click on the little play icon on the top right hand corner 
and this will preview the website. So you can see here, it's now loading the video. And as soon as the video is loaded, it will automatically play in the background of your content. And that's it. That is how we create a background video for a hero section or any other section on your Web Studio website.